We refuse to accept illiteracy in any part of the world. We need education for all children, good quality inclusive education for all children. Young people are rising up. I was in, in a village recently in Rajasthan and I was so inspired to see that the whole village has become child labor free and the whole village has become child marriages free. free. And it was possible because of a young girl, Payal. And some, some of you might have seen the picture of Payal and my wife Sumeda and I was inv were invited to talk to and meet with President Obama and the First Lady when they were visiting India. The President of America had two, as I was told, two private meetings. One was with the Prime Minister on the first day and the last meeting with myself, my wife and the young children like Paya. Because the 15-year-old girl has refused to accept. Her child marriage is at the age of 12 and her sister's marriage and the whole village has become child marriage free. Hisua in Rajasthan. Listen to the voices of young people. They are rising up against child marriages, abuse and exploitation. Listen to the young girls. Young girls are rising up and denying, rejecting any kind of sexual abuse and atrocities and violence. Don't ignore them. Change is knocking your door. Young people from Assam, listen to the rest of the world's youngsters. They are rising up. You should join the voices with them. You should join your legs with them. You should rub your shoulders with the rest of the world, young people. Don't sit quiet. You have all the powers, my friends. I would sum up now by thanking you very much. But the day when the Nobel Peace Prize has been announced, the media was overwhelming and they asked the question that whom you attribute this prize? That was a common question. And my spontaneous answer was that this is not the prize for a person like me. It's a great honor, definitely. But I said that this is the honor for all my fellow Indian sisters and brothers. This is the honor for everyone from the Northeast to Southwest. I was here marching across this place and I am coming after that now. So perhaps the blessings of all those mothers whose children were kidnapped and sold and resold and somehow my colleagues and I was able to liberate them and give them back to their, their laps. But have the blessings of those mothers brought this Nobel Prize to this land. So this is not the prize for me. Being a Delhiite or being an Indian alone, this is the prize of, for all of you. Feel that this is the prize for all of you. You may feel honor, but the more important that you should feel some moral responsibility. <clears throat> I'm not the one who can play with the words. When I said that this is the price for my country, I wrote a letter to the President of India and requested him that I am going to offer this price to my nation. I am going to give it away to you, through you, to the nation. So Honorable President has no idea because it never happened. There was no president in India or anywhere in the world. Many people, many of my friends said, you have become crazy, you are a stupid Kailashji. This is the first Indian, you are the first Indian, born Indian who got this Supreme Award, the Peace Prize. And you are saying that you will not keep it with you for your children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren to touch and see. You are going to hand it over to the President of India? I said, yes. So the Honorable President was kind enough to find some way out and I have given it to, to him. Or I have to Hindi, I have to say it in English, but I have to say it in Hindi. I have to say it in 
राष्ट्रपति जी I believe in something, and that is for my motherland, for India. I said, I cited Kabir's Doha, the poetry, which says, "Mera mujh mein kachu nahi, jo kachu hai sab tor, aur tera tujko sompte kya lagat hai mor." Nothing belongs to me. Everything belongs to all of you, my countrymen. and women my sisters my brothers my young people my children this novel piece prize is yours and that's why i'm giving to you through the to the president of india and, and now this is lying in the in the president's museum so my own family members and friends say that oh kailash ji oh my uncle how can we touch this medal i said i cannot touch in my life so forget about you it is now lying in a very beautiful place uh, uh, very uh, secure so you can see it but you cannot touch no one can touch but every indian can see with pride that you have something that means much more bigger moral responsibility on all of you i call upon you to accept this responsibility don't sit quiet don't clap for me accept moral responsibility swikar kariye apni naitikta naitik zimmedari ko because we are the land of morality we are the land of great ethos and values and virtues accept it accept it that no child shall become child slaves here no child would be trafficked no child will remain out of school children would be our priority dear friends we can make it you can make it let us march let us march from darkness to light i always say let us march from illiteracy and innocence to enlightenment let us march from moral mortality to divinity because divinity is inside us the light is inside us look at yourself look at your nation we are a proud nation we are not going to become only a prosperous country with your help i call upon you especially my young friends i am going to launch a very big campaign under the big umbrella of kailash satyarthi children's foundation which i launched now the kailash satyarthi children's foundation is launching the world's or history's most ambitious campaign with young people for young people i call upon 100 young people from all across the world to become the voices the spokesperson the champions the leaders and change makers on behalf of 100 million left out children in the world would you join with me or not <laughs> young people tell strongly meri awaaz se zyada awaaz aapki aani chahiye kya aap isme shamil hona chahte hain we wanted to join the campaign to save 100 million children from the planet and you become the voices of 100 million people or not yes raise your hands then raise your hands for me Raise your hands for those children. Hazari ka ji, aap hath uthayenge to sab hath uthayenge. Bahut bahut dhanyawad aapka. Bahut dhanyawad. Bahut bahut dhanyawad sir.